भोपाल आज टाई सीजन एक्टिविटीज फॉर द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी फेब्रुवरी आज बिशप दुरे राज एस बी डी इनोग्रेटेड एंड ब्लेस्ड न्यू ग्रोटो ऑफ आर लेडी ऑफ सोरोज ऑन द सेकेंड जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू एट सर्वाइ रीजनल हाउस कैंपस अयोध्या बाईपास रोड भोपाल आज बिशप सेड इन इज होमली ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ द ग्रोटो इंस्टिल्स आर फेथ इन मदर मेरी हुज फीस डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज मदर ऑफ गॉड appreciating the services rendered by the servite sisters in the archdiocese he said as mother kept everything in her heart we need to render our services from our heart and not from our mind to improve the quality of our ministry the solemn holy mass began with entrance dance by the candidates and concluded with a special devotional service to our lady of sorrow the patron saint of the servites The Pachmari province of the Congregation of St Joseph of Shambhari stepped into yet another milestone of electing the new team of province on the 2nd of January 2022. At the end of the chapter held at Pachmari, its members elected sisters Morris CSJ as a provincial, Lily Cherry and CSJ, Prasanna CSJ and Clara CSJ. were elected as the provincial team members of the province to launch out to the deep at the end of the installation ceremony of the new leadership team the elected members took a vow of secrecy in the presence of the chapter's observers sister morris csg the new provincial thanked the outgoing provincial sister anis padayatil csg for her tireless efforts and hard work to bring the province to its fullest growth the archdiocese of bhopal congratulated the new team of shambhari sisters and wished them the best to lead the province par excellence eight days unity octave began on the 18th of january 2022 at christ church govindpura as its first venue of the unity octave Arch Bishop Dure Raj SVD participating on the first day said unity of the churches is a need of the hour he encouraged all the pastors and priests to bury the differences to build harmony and to extend mutual support to one another the main theme of the unity octave 2022 was we saw the star in the east and we came to worship him the rest of the days of unity octave were held at infant jesus church ayodhya bypass the zion church kolar road queen of the universe kolar road assembly of god kolar road holy family church habib ganj saint mary's church ashoka garden and ended at assumption church arera colony bhopal Many pastors, sisters and laity participated with great enthusiasm and pledged to grow together to build the unity of the churches. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Sister Jerilyn and CSJ entered the heavenly home on the 15th of January 2022. at Ashaniketan Hospital Bhopal she was an excellent teacher very kind affectionate and interested in the welfare of her students all through her life after many years of service she was shifted to Asha Anchal for the rest and care from 13th January onwards her health condition was found deteriorated and finally she passed away at 10:30 a.m. on 15th of January 2022 in the presence of her sisters Archbishop of Bhopal expressed his sorrow over the death of sister Jerry and said she was very true to the poor and underprivileged Archdiocese and family expressed its condolences to the sisters of St Joseph of Shambhari and extended the promise of prayers for the departed soul. The Archbishop Emeritus Most Reverend Leo Cornelio SVD inaugurated the Silver Jubilee Thanksgiving Holy Mass 
of the Montfort School, Patel Nagar, on the 29th of January 2022 at its primary block. The celebration began with the inauguration of Yesherjan, followed by entrance dance leading to the altar. Archbishop Emeritus congratulating the Montfort brothers said that their ministry is to provide quality education to motivate the students to change the society. There was a presentation of a documentary on the growth of school followed by felicitating the past principals, provincials and co-workers. The program ended with Jubilee Anthem. Archdiocese of Bhopal congratulated the Montfort brothers for their committed service in the field of education. The Archdiocese of Bhopal was shocked to hear the death of a committed priest of the Archdiocese, Father Suman Kumar Turki, on the 23rd of January 2022 at Bansal Hospital. Father Suman was sick and had been under treatment for his heart ailments. His body was kept for the public homage on 24th of January 2022 at Divine Retreat Ashram Kola, where he spent last six years. Many priests, sisters and laity participated in the funeral service held on the 25th of January 2022 at Assumption Church and followed by his burial at Catholic Cemetery Bhadbada Road. Archbishop expressed his deep sorrow at the demise of Father Suman and said in his message, the diocese lost a committed and service-minded priest and prayed for his eternal reward. The parish feast of Infant Jesus Church, Ayodhya Bypass Road, Bhopal, was celebrated on the 29th of January 2022. During the celebration, Archbishop of Bhopal, Most Reverend Sebastian Dureiraj SVD, administered the sacraments of confirmation to 11 children and Holy Communion to 13 boys and girls. Archbishop Sebastian Dureiraj motivated the children to live in faith and to witness Jesus through their truthful life. He asked the children not to be moved with worldly pleasures but to grow in spiritual maturity to overcome the worldly challenges. In the end of the celebration, Archbishop distributed certificates and medals to the children who received the sacraments. The first elected and nominated members of the Presbyterian Council with new Archbishop Sebastian Dureiraj SVD was held on the 7th of February 2022 at Pastoral Center, Bhopal. Welcoming all the members of the Presbytery Council, Archbishop said in his address that let the Spirit lead us to understand each other for a dialogue so that we may face the challenges of our time to serve the people of God. Later, Father Dilip Minch was elected as the new secretary of the Archdiocese and Presbytery Council and he thanked the outgoing secretary, Father Jomi Panithas, for his leadership in the last five years. During the meeting, many issues and concerns were raised and discussed for the betterment of the Archdiocese, followed by consultors' meeting held at 2.30 p.m. at Pastoral Center, Bhopal. The Archdiocese and family fondly remembered late Reverend Father Lulu Manuel Manezes on his first death anniversary on the 7th of February 2022 at Pastoral Center, Bhopal. The con-celebrated Solemn Holy Mass began with a short documentary film on the life of late Reverend Father Lulu Manezes and ended with floral tribute by the Archdiocese and family members. Archbishop Dureiraj SVD said in his homily not to search peace and happiness outside the world but to experience it within oneself. It is possible when we place others' welfare as the center of our life 
as Father Lulu taught us and lived upon. He was gentle and kind and was lovingly called the son of Mother Mary, he reminded. The ASMI Sisters of the Bhopal Province organized a solemn gathering on the eve of the first vestation and profession of their three novices, seven silver jubilarians and three golden jubilarians on the 8th of February 2022 at Nirmal Mata Provincial House, Lamba Keda, Bhopal. The celebration began with entrance dance followed by blessing and handing over the three novices to the province by their respective parents. Archbishop Dure Raj SVD congratulating the jubilarians and the first professed sisters said in his homily that as the child Jesus was presented in the temple by his parents, we as religious present ourselves to God to tell the world that we no longer belong to our own family but to God alone. Committed life of 50 and 25 years is very motivating to the youngsters to follow the Lord with undivided hearts, he added. Later, Sister Nithya, the provincial superior and the first professed sisters thanked all the priests and religious for their blessings and presents. The celebration came to an end by cutting the jubilee cake. Many priests and religious congratulated the jubilarians and wished them the best for their future endeavors. <laughs>